Junior moves. Backward loop pattern. Edge quality and continuous flow are the focuses for this move. Standards and expectations. The loop should be placed at the top of the lobe. Demonstrate bilateral symmetry. Demonstrate controlled rhythmic action. Knee, upper body, and free leg. Maintain continuous flow throughout. Maintain continuous axis. And all lobes are of similar size. This new move begins from a standing start and has no introductory steps. It may also be started on either foot. But it must skate outside loops on the first side and then inside loops on the second side. The end pattern is optional. The second side must also start from a standstill, just like the first side. The skater will do two outside loops on each foot on the first side. And then the skater will do two inside loops on each foot on the second side. So for a total of four loops on each side. Common errors. Skating move with too much speed, sub curves, in and out of loops, lack of control, misshaped loops, inability to maintain flow, scratchy, diagonal step down on axis, change of edge not on continuous axis, loss of control on transition push after loop, inability to execute ankle, knee, and hip flexion. The first side of the move begins with an outside three turn starting on the axis. Followed by three backward inside rolls stepping on the continuous axis each time. On the last backward inside roll the skater will do a change of edge to a back outside edge across the axis. From the change of edge the skater will do a backward outside loop placed on the top of the lobe. The skater will finish the set by doing a backward outside to back inside change of edge across the axis. This process is repeated by doing the three backward inside rolls starting on the opposite foot that the skater began with. First set is complete at the end of the fourth set. The second side of the move begins with an inside three turn starting on the axis from a standstill. It's followed by three backward outside cross strokes on the continuous axis. On the last backward outside cross stroke the skater will do a change of edge to a back inside edge across the axis. From the change of edge the skater will do a backward inside loop placed on the top of the lobe. 
Then the skater will finish the set by doing a backward inside to back outside change of edge across the axis. This process is repeated by doing the three backward outside cross strokes starting on the opposite foot that the skater started the second side on. The second side is complete at the end of the fourth set. Skaters must maintain continuous flow throughout this loop pattern. Definition of a loop. A loop is a teardrop shaped turn formed within a circle skated on a small circle approximately equal to the height of the skater and on the same edge throughout.